Guys, welcome back to another video. I know that in my last video I promised I'd be uploading more consistently, but to be honest I just haven't been in the mood and I haven't felt like filming. And this is the first time in a really really long time that I have been able to talk to a camera, so uh, welcome back. It takes quite a lot to be able to sit in front of a camera and film yourself and see yourself in the viewfinder and when I haven't been feeling like myself recently, I haven't been feeling very confident in how I look and how I'm dressing and a load of other things behind the scenes but that is basically why I haven't been able to film. I didn't want to come on here and pretend to be happy when I wasn't so um, that's why I uh, haven't been filming. Anyway, today or this week we are in the middle of a heat wave um, and it's like 30 degrees and I am here for it. I didn't realise how much the good weather made me feel so much better. Um, I think it is as well because I can dress quite prettily and not have to wear so many layers. Saying it's currently Monday, I have got a fresh layer of tan on um, and I've just literally painted my nails. Excuse my hands, they are so orange. Um, they don't look that bad in real life. Anyway, um, and I've got this like lilac-y colour on my nails. Um, I prefer using my like my lamp that you put your hands under and they set them really quickly. They seem to stop doing them in boots um, where I live. So I've had to use normal nail varnish, which isn't an issue, but it just takes that little bit longer to dry and I'm just like going around the house like this. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go off to Winchester with my mum. Normally we would do this Thursday, but we just decided to go today as well. Um, yes, we are going to be having hot chocolate. And I know it's 30 degree heat, but we are creatures of habit and I just literally love hot chocolate so much. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be going to do today. Um, what do I have to update you on? Okay, hear me out before I mention this. I am a old woman in a young girl's body. Uh, basically, I wanted something that, I wanted a hobby. Because I finished uni um, and I didn't really feel like filming because YouTube was my hobby for quite a long time, um, basically I just fell out of love with YouTube so I needed another hobby. And my mum texted me the other day and was like, do you want this? And it was a little magazine um, for knitting. I know, basically I'm halfway through knitting a little bunny rabbit. I will show you um, at some point uh, what it looks like. I'm actually really impressed with it. I don't think I'm too bad and I'm learning all the lingo for knitting and it just makes me so happy and I think that that's another reason why I'm kind of feeling a little bit more chirpier than I was uh, because it just it's really calming and really I don't know, therapeutic, and I love it. But anyway, I've rambled on for three minutes. Uh, I can ramble on for a lot longer, but I'm not going to because I need to get ready to go to Winchester. Um, I will show you what I'm wearing, and I'll see you in a minute. So I'm all ready to go to Winchester now. I'm wearing this little dress from Hollister that I got in the sale. It is the most beautiful pattern and it matches my nails, I just realised that. But um, I just love it so much. It's so easy and comfortable to wear. Like It looks dressy, but it's just literally chuck it on and you're ready to go. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my favourite one that I've got. I've got them in other patterns, but this is definitely my favourite and most easiest to wear. And then with it, I can't remember if I showed this in another video or not, but basically, I've got some new Nike Air Force Ones, and they've got a sage green tick, and oh my gosh, I have never loved a pair of trainers so much in my life. Um, I really want to buy like a second pair to keep as like a brand new ones for next year, but I know that that's excessive and I don't have the money to do that, so um, I'm trying to keep them as new as I can, so I will show you them. They are so beautiful. Ignore the fact that I'm wearing really high, long socks with them. Um, I couldn't find my small trainer socks, so that's why I'm wearing these ones. Um, and then with it, in case I get cold in Sainsbury's or like a shop, because the air conditioning in every shop is so bad. Uh, well, it's good because it's cold, but it makes me freezing. I have got a purple cardigan from Urban Outfitters. Yes, it's still got the tag on. We won't talk about that. It takes me ages to take a tag off anything. 
um, I may have this in four other colours. Okay, it was in the sale, but basically this cardigan comes in pink, blue and sage green as well as the purple, and I fell in love with all of them. And they were all £20, so I just ordered them. And admittedly the pink one is my favourite, but that's for another video, so you have to come back for another video to see me wearing that. Um, so yeah, this is the cardigan, it's just the most beautiful thing, I will show you it on. It's just so cute and makes me feel like even more of a granny, even more than I really am, but still, this is it and I love it. Anyway, I'm going to take this off and get going. Bye guys! Jessa and it was so much hotter than I thought I was literally dying in the car but I still enjoyed my hot chocolate a lot we came home and we bought some juice ice cream in Sainsbury's and just had a taster because it was all melted and it would be rude not to and I haven't had ice cream like that in ages from a tub and oh my gosh it was amazing now I'm going to get changed into something a little bit more comfortable and then do some knitting <laughs> sounds so stupid saying that and just to have a bit of a chilled evening. Tonight we're having tandoori chicken and rice and I literally am obsessed with tandoori chicken at the moment. Um, it's really, really good. I will obviously show you that, but um, I think having little treats throughout the week make the week so much more bearable, even though I'm not at uni or anything. Um, it just, it's nice to have things to look forward to and yeah, would highly recommend if you're feeling down to treat yourself. Here is the little kit that I got in my magazine and this is what I'm attempting to knit at the moment. Um, I'll show you the parts that I have done. So this is the little head. It's not the best, but I don't think it's too, too bad. And yeah, then I've got the little body. I did sew the legs on the wrong way around, but we won't talk about that. Everything is a learning curve. And now I am just about to start doing the ears. I did one last night, and I'm gonna do that again. take a quick coffee break but I wanted to shout out this new milk from Linda McCartney in my frother oh my gosh it goes so so frothy I'll show you now but yeah by far the best plant-based milk I've ever had just before I have my coffee I'm going to take my makeup off because I just want to wash my face it feels so so I don't know greasy and sweaty but anyway as I was saying about that Linda McCartney milk oh my gosh game changing they brought it out last week in Sainsbury's and um, basically it's coconut for baristas and because I've had my milk, got my milk frother um, I've been trying different barista milks and that is by far the best plant based barista and just milk in general it is so so beautiful and it goes so frothy and velvety and just amazing and yeah I'll show you now <laughs> Um, this is a bit spontaneous, I didn't think that I would be wanting to film again this morning, but I do, so I'm listening to my vlogging cravings and I'm vlogging this morning. Um, I'm about to make some bread, but um, I thought I'd bring you along with me. You'll have to excuse my hair, I've literally just washed my hair and like I said, I didn't know I wanted to film again uh, until I put my makeup on and I was like, actually, I want to carry on my vlog. So that's what I'm doing. And I also have this jumper on. Um, Basically, I washed it probably October time, completely forgot I had it and left it in the airing cupboard and I've now fallen in love with it. I am going to have to take it off after I finish filming because I am very hot, but for the time being I'm enjoying wearing this jumper and yeah, we'll definitely be wearing it in the autumn with some flared trousers or some jeans, which I forgot to tell you by the way, you know I was on like a flared trouser hype, I'm now on a straight jean hype. Would never have thought me, Becca, would want to wear straight jeans and be able to wear them without looking like a complete idiot, but I do, and um, 
if I say so myself, they look all right. Flour, oat, salt, and bicarb, coconut milk. So that is all the ingredients. Um, I am using this coconut milk instead of my new, newly beloved Linda McCartney milk, just because uh, I'm trying to save that for my sort of barista coffees and things. Um, and this has always done me good in my bread, so I'm going to continue to use that. And we have it in the fridge, so I might as well use it. But um, if you haven't tried the Linda McCartney, they do coconut, soy, oat and rice. I have the coconut because it's barista and I think the oat is barista too, but it's always out of stock when I try to go and get it. Um, but seriously, the texture of the milk is it's amazing. I do my dad um, a normal milk coffee um, sometimes in the frother and it literally doesn't go as frothy as the plant-based milk. So yeah, definitely would try that. Linda, she knows what she's doing. I'm just going to weigh out the ingredients. Um, I wanted to say that at the weekend, because I, yesterday, last night, I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about, and I forgot to mention that I, at the weekend, picked my, I picked my second year modules for next year. Um, I'm, for those of you that don't know, doing psychology at uni, and um, quite a few options that I could have picked, and the two, like, psychology-based ones were Intro to Health Psychology and Cognitive Neuroscience. They just weren't me. I don't. I don't like those two things. And um, when I saw that you could do um, introduction to criminology for semester one and criminological psychology in the second semester, I my heart just sang. Um, for, I don't think I've ever explained this, but for literally the longest time, I think ever since I was like a child, I've always been fascinated by crime and. Um, forensic science and things like that uh, really really random and especially at the moment there's loads of documentaries on Netflix um, that I'm just binge watching and uh, my family think I'm crazy but it really gives me like goosebumps in the weirdest way um, and so being able to do that as my um, part of my degree is just amazing. I had to push myself to go against what I thought I should do and actually pick what I wanted to do because at the end of the day I'm studying it no one else is so I'm really really excited to start that uh, it is only July and I don't start at uni back until September um, so I'm just sort of like raring to go but I know come September October I'll be like I wish it was summer again and I wish that I wasn't at uni so I'm trying to enjoy my time while it lasts and live in the moment but um Anyway, I really need to get on with my bread, but I just really wanted to talk about that because I'm just so excited. I will show you the end result. I don't feel like I need to show you how I make my bread. Again, I do have a video on my YouTube, which I will try to remember to link up um, on the cards and down below in the description. But it's really, really simple and um, it's my favourite bread. I just forgot to film the bread, but it's in the oven now and I will show you, I promise, once it's cooked. Um, I'm now going to get some, have some breakfast. Um, I think I'm going to have um, an egg and some soda bread. I don't know yet. Probably, I think that's what I fancy. And the extra protein in the egg really actually does make me feel so much better. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. I am going to go and take this jumper off now because I'm very, very hot. I've just made my breakfast and I must admit I've got a bit of a really bad addiction at the moment to coffee especially with the frothy milk it's just amazing so I don't normally have coffee with my breakfast but um, I am at the moment and then I probably will have one again in a little while my coffee addiction has got really really bad since I've got the frother and the milk um, but I don't mind um, anyway yeah this is the end of the video I think I think I filmed enough um, and I want to kind of get this edited tonight um, so thank you so much for watching um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, um, I don't really know what my vlogging style has gone like recently, um, where I've taken such a long break, but um, I do hope that you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one, bye guys.